kind of hear, you know, B.J. Palmer uh, recited in the office. I mean, he's tough to understand, right? And it, sometimes it's not so smooth. And they're not there for that. You know, they're not there for that. They're there for what often we express the value of what we do is, right? They're, the, the highest level they'll ever get is what you express in almost all cases. Does that make sense how I'm saying that? Right, so if you're expressing it and communicating it really well, they're gonna get it better, right? So we've, con we've made it so complex, we've, we've communicated it in a level I think so often that it's, it's difficult for them to make the leap to understand what we do as chiropractors, right? And we want them all to get it, but we want them to get it like all of it. And they're, you know, in many cases, they're not gonna get it all. It's a journey, right? So how about this? How about getting the idea that getting adjusted and being under care is really good for you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we've almost lost that. You know what I mean? Just like, hey, if you ask it, the average person, like, hey, do you take a multivitamin? Because you ever hear that criticism with chiropractors? Somebody will say to you, like, oh yeah, chiropractor, like you guys think you can help everything. You ever heard that? Mm -hmm. Right, it's gonna affect everything. Well, I just ask people questions, right? Well, Chris, I'm glad you asked that question. Let me ask you a question. Um, do you take a multivitamin? Yes. Yes. What's it good for? Everything. Everything. Like no one says they struggle. They're like, well, it's really good for everything. If you ask them a little bit deeper and say, well, what vitamin's in there? What's the molecular structure of the vitamin? How does it physiologically work as a cofactor in you know, production of energy at the mitochondrial level? Right? I mean, the average person is not even going to know what you're talking about. Right? Doesn't mean they're stupid. They just weren't educated in that way. Right? Yet they have full belief, without even knowing what's in there, that by taking that, it's good. And I'm not arguing that it is good for them. It's good to take them all the time. Right? So they understand that we just got to get to that point. That's all we got to get to. We don't have to go beyond that. They don't have to understand neural recruitment and neural efficiency and proprioception. And they don't have to get that. All they have to get the idea is straighter's healthier. You know, at the very end, people, I'll just say to people, look, straighter's healthier. Straighter's better. That's all. I mean, it's that easy. Listen, getting adjusted is always going to be good for you. It's good to get adjusted because it's good for your health. health. It's good for your nurse. That's all you got to get them to know. And then you just stoke that fire. You nurture that all the time. And by nurturing that all the time, when they leave, you know, again, they're not judging. They're not going to sit at the hairdresser if something's going to go, what are you still taking multivitamins for? Like, no one asks a person if they take multivitamins, what are they still taking them for? No one asks somebody if they're going to the gym and working out. Why do you still go to the gym? Why do you still work out? Why are you still going to the dentist all the time? You get it? Why don't they ask that question? Because they have already connected the idea that going to the dentist, working out, eating good, exercising, which are all very good for you, right? They don't know physiologically in most people why, but they know, hey, I work out, I feel better, I look better, whatever. That's all we gotta do. We just gotta get to that level. And if you get to that level, then they're gonna come, not because they hurt, and I'm not saying that's bad that people do. It's great that many times that'll be the initiation for them, right? Just like they'll join the gym because they're like, wow, you know what? I am not looking so good, right? I don't even want to have sex with myself. You know, we've had, we've had those experiences. Nobody's had that before. You've never walked by the mirror. Damn! So, um, so same idea, right? So then all of a sudden that's your initiation. Wow, that's your slip of check. I got to start taking better care of myself, start working out. Pain may be that slip of check. It's not bad that your, that your relationship, if you will, initiates from... I don't feel so good. But in the end, you're going to dictate. They're going to default, if you will. They'll default at the very least or raise themselves to the highest level of your ability to communicate, express, uh, get them to acknowledge, appreciate what you do as a chiropractor. And the best thing you can ever get them to do is understand that getting adjusted, taking care of their spine with regular care is always good for them. It's good for their health.